Is that is that cabinet going to move? Pardon? Oh, is it going to move if you don't stand there and hold it up? Or uh, no, we were actually having a meeting and you were oh. interrupted. Perfect. No, you weren't interrupted. This is this is my office. This is the people's office. So outside the hall is. Yeah, no, where and where are we? You were beyond the threshold. No, we weren't. Okay. Come on, I got a backup camera. Okay. Listen, you lie like a rug. Like that, you're not in the business of lying. You're in the business of serving the public. Yeah, we do serve the public. Not well. Okay. Not well. What's your name? My name's Ryan. Ryan. What do you do here? I work for the town. What do you do here? I work for the town. What do you do for the town, Ryan? I'm the assistant town manager. You're the assistant town manager? Oh, man. What are they just handing that job out to anybody, Ryan? What, are you, what was it? Like a. Was it a raffle? Yeah, we like IT. This is a private office, so I have to ask you to stand outside there. Well, no, it's not a private office. It's a private office. I don't see any signs saying it's a private office. How you doing? Hey, how are you? How, how you doing? doing? Hi. Hope you're having a good day. Good. This is a private office. Can you step outside the it's door? It's not please? a private office. There's no signs. There's yeah. no signage. This is my private office, please. No, it's, it's our private office. It... If you don't leave, I'm going to call the police. I mean, you can. There's no... There's no sign saying you, it's a private uh, office. I can't be on camera. I'm sorry? Is this something is this something that we need to is this something? How long has this been a private office? I gotta say, I gotta say about that. Is this something go ahead. that should be concerned with? Yeah, you can go leave if you want. No, no, I'm just gonna go over there. Sorry, I'm gonna No, you can do I'm your on. thing, man. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> it's funny he's saying. <laughs> You know, you can't come in the office. Like, we haven't even stepped in the office yeah, excuse yet. Me, excuse me for a second. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a public office. Wow. Oh. What's going on, guys? We're at the Brunswick Town Hall in Brunswick, Maine, doing a First Amendment audit. And with the Wandering Hippie, let's check it out. Oh, they will have no problem with this filming because they're under video surveillance 24 hours. Here you go. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Hi. Is there something I can help you with? No, I'm all set. Thank you. You're Oh, the door will be locked. This place has been done. So, yeah, you can tell by the signs. Due to confidentiality, the door will be locked. No walk-ins. Yep. What you doing? Um, what you doing? Uh, where I work here. Oh, cool. Oh, IT? Do you help with something? Oh, the IT office is always pretty cool. Yeah, we like IT. This is a private office, so I have to ask you to stand outside there. Oh, no, it's not a private office. It's a private office. I don't see any signs saying it's a private office. How you doing? Hey, how are you? How, how you doing? doing? Hi. Hope you're having a good day. Good. This is a private office. Can you step outside the door? It's not a private office. There's no signs. There's no signage. This is my private office, please. No, it's it's our private office. If you don't leave, I'm gonna call the police. I mean, you can. There's no there's no signs saying it's a private office. I'm sorry. How long has this been a private office? Go ahead. No, no, I'm just gonna go over there. Sorry, I'm gonna. No, you can do your thing, man. Yeah, no worries. 
It's funny he's saying, <laughs> you know, you can't come in the office. Like, we haven't even stepped in the office yeah, excuse yet. Me, excuse me for a second. No, it's, a, it's, it's a public office. Wow. Oh, look at that, huh? What a scumbag. Now he's going to be on film. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, man, huh? He, the First Amendment guys are here. Yeah, zero First Amendment in the uh, town hall of Brunswick. That's all right. We'll get back in there. It's a private office. It should have a freaking sign on the door. So the popo is on their way. See, that's how you signify something's private. Right? Employees only be on this point. And everybody here. Oh, that guy was a Darren. Yeah, IT guy too. Somebody. Hi, can I help you with something? Hi, yeah. Um, are you guys nice in this office? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. We were just at the IT office and they weren't really nice. Oh, he's usually very nice, so... Oh, yeah, he, well, he sounds kind of like he woke up in the wrong... Did he wake up in the wrong side of the bed today? I haven't seen him today. Oh, you should check up on him. I think he's having a meltdown. Mm. Yeah, all right. Well, at least you're nice here. We're just yeah. doing... I usually do good day checks, but now I'm doing nice checks to make oh, okay. sure everyone's nice. Can we get your name? First name? Uh, Chelsea. Thank you. Chelsea. Yeah. You Thanks, Chelsea. Day. So the popo is on their way. I don't want to go too far because the popo is here. They're coming. I'm supposed to ask. Let's go upstairs and they get here. We'll, we'll just keep an eye out. Take the elevator. Yeah, we'll come to the stairs. Breaking always love checking the, uh, the permit on the elevator. A couple of elevators. You, sir. Oh, thanks. How are we doing? Hi there. You having a good day? Yes, I am. Thank you. Are you nice in this office? Try to be. Yeah, the guy in IT is not so nice. Yeah. Well, you seem nice. Thank you. Have you seen him? Be careful. I don't want the, the grumpiness to wear off. All right. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. Have a great day. Hi. Hello. How are we doing? How's it going? Well, I've been better. The guy in the IT office is really... Grumpy Gus, he was kind of mean to me and it made me sad. Yeah. Has, he been, has he been mean to you before? No. Okay. Is he normally mean to members of the public, do you know, or is it just today? I don't know what happened. He's normally a nice guy. Right. Can you get your first name, nice man? My name is Trey Cruz. I need your last name. Thank, Thank you, Trey. you. Very nice to meet you. Have a nice day, guys. You too. So we can't go in. Hi. Hello. Super private, right on. Yeah. Okay. How you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm kind of sad. Okay. The IT guy was really mean to us. I hope you guys have a better day. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Be careful of the mean guy downstairs. Nice plan. Hey, what's how are you doing? You? Good. Um, I was just checking, is, is has the IT guy been mean to you today? <laughs> no. No? Oh, it's just us? Oh. Uh, 
He yelled at us, and then his friend slammed a door on us. Yeah. That's wasn't like a good day. No, it's not a great day. And then he called the police. Oh, wow. Yeah. For the same thing that we're doing now. Okay. Just, you know, being nice and taking pictures. Sure. Well, be careful. Steer, steer clear of the IT guy. Because okay. he woke up. he woke up on the wrong side of the bed, went back to sleep, and woke up on the wrong other side of the bed. Oh, my goodness. And then forgot to take his grumpy pills. Can you get your first name, dear? Uh, I'm Taylor. Thank Taylor, you. nice to meet nice you, Taylor. Have a great day. Great Aww. smile. Oh, thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. I almost want to run down. Can we can we look out your window for a second and just check out a view of the parking lot from like the upstairs? That'd be really nice. Thank you. I need to close it. Oh wow! Look at the view. Very nice. Yeah. I really appreciate it. You got a nice little view here. Thanks so much. Yeah, Have a great day. Say. Thank you. Continue that way. We can walk loop around this way. Right. Hello. Hello. I was just having him help us to see if the police were here yet. Where it's probably gotten around. No one's in here. An office that's empty? Runs with me, everybody. The third floor, I believe, belongs to the college, but it's in a city building, so we're going to go up there, too. Oh shoot, I didn't do that. Hello. How's it going? How are we doing? Good. You guys having a good day? Yeah, yeah. not too bad. Good. Yeah. I was just wondering, everyone in the town hall seems really nice, except the IT guy. So I was wondering, is he normally really mean? Does he normally slam doors on people's feet? Is that oh, is really? that or is that just a today thing, do you know? I don't know. He's relatively new. Oh. I mean was I would the door, was the door open when you went Yeah, down? wide open. No oh. signs. I'm just like your office and then he you know, he said that we weren't allowed to film him, and then the other guy in there said we weren't allowed to film him either. And, um, see, we can go in the office. We were just being really nice, just filming kind of like this, and then the other guy came up and slammed the door, wound up, hit me in the foot. So I was just wondering if that's a new behavior, but you said he's new, so hard to tell if he's been acting like that. Well, it's hard to tell. I mean, most of it wasn't through this experience, so. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't work for... A municipality before I worked for a private company, which doesn't have this pleasure. Yeah, so I'm sure that working for a municipality, you know, it's doesn't really matter where he's worked before. He works for the public. You know, not working for the public before, I don't really is a, I think an excuse for him to be behaving like that. Well, we can talk to him. Is there anything we can help you with? Uh, yeah, I like to I like an apology for the behavior. I mean, I always offer that an apology. Um, you know, rather than me doing a records request, I'm me. And you are? I'm me. Okay, and what, what are you looking for? An apology. Yeah. An apology. Uh, if not, then I'll just do a records request for uh, his name, salary, employment contract, then I'll lodge an official complaint for his behavior, and then I'll disseminate it to my audience. But I'm happy to just take an apology for the behavior, I mean, which I don't think is, you know, asking a lot, seeing that this building serves, especially in human resources, where you know you kind of specialize in training and coaching employees. You think that's something we can make happen? What do you want an apology would, from? We would said we would talk to him. He's brand new here. He's not familiar with the freedom of access, and any of the things you're talking about is an opportunity for us to teach him and ask him. Well, I mean, everyone learns about. Something. The First Amendment to the United States Constitution, I mean, depending on your age, it's either civics or you learn it in third grade. I mean, and literally when he walks into this building, you guys have a big sign that says under 24 hour video surveillance. So I think he's probably quite aware that we're allowed to. I just think he got in his feels and decided that his wants were more important than our rights. So, I mean, he doesn't have to apologize, but 
I always like to offer the opportunity before I leave because if he doesn't want to, then we do records requests and complaints. Okay. He also called the police on us, which I think is an awful waste of tax resources for people not breaking the law. But Well, thank you for letting us know. It's a personnel ma- matter, and like Carly said, we will talk to our employee about it. So is that mean that you're going to ask him if he'd like to apologize to us, or do you want to dig your heels in on that? I'm not going to deal with a personnel matter on a public camera. I mean, it is not public. It is public. He works for the public. Personnel matters are not public. Well, at this point, I mean, it's not an unwarranted invasion of privacy, which would be the only thing that would exclude it from public. File of freedom of access. So, and I think that you guys are going to probably have a headache over the next couple of days about this. That's so, a shame. I I agree with you. It's absolutely a shame. Someone behaving like that, showing such disdain for the public, and then you come literally to human resources, and that office is the office that oversees coaching, training, and development for those employees, and it seems like you could... speak and coach and develop my employee. I mean, that's fine. You're making, a, you're making the choice for him. I offered him an opportunity to keep his job if he apologized. If you want to deal with it privately, you won't have that opportunity, and he will lose his job. No question about it. I'm willing to bet on that. Haven't lost that bet yet. <laughs> but if you want to make that decision for him, when we stop by the office on the way out, we'll let him know to enjoy his, his last day. What do you say? I think you've already heard what we said. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that cabinet going to move? Pardon? Oh, is it going to move if you don't stand there and hold it up? Or? Uh, no, we were actually having a meeting. And you were oh, interrupted. Perfect. No, you weren't interrupted. This is, this is my office. This is the people's office, so... Outside the hall is. Yeah, and where are we? You were beyond the threshold. No, we weren't. Okay. Come on, I got a backup camera. Okay. Listen, you lie like a rug. Like that, you're not in the business of lying. You're in the business of serving the public. Yeah, we do serve the public. Not well. Okay. Not well. What's your name? My name's Ryan. Ryan. What do you do here? I work for the town. What do you do here? I work for the town. What do you do for the town, Ryan? I'm the assistant town manager. You're the assistant town manager? Oh, man, what are they, just handing that job out to anybody, Ryan? What, are you, what was it, like a, what was it, a raffle? Meetings, What's your name? Office. What's your name? My name is Jody. I'm Jody? Resources. Oh, cool. And, and what's, your meeting, and what's your I'm name? What's your name? I'm going to ask you to leave and have My a great day. Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> and that's why the attitude you get, <laughs> you know? Hi. Just making sure you guys are, are okay over here. We're fine, thanks. Yeah, no worries. It's just the human resource people and the, the IT guy are pretty mean, so we want to make sure you guys are okay. How are you doing? They haven't been mean to you yet today, have they, Angie? No one's mean to me. The day is young. Just give IT a chance. Hello, are you having a good day? Yes, I am. Be careful of the IT guy. He's he's very mean, so I just don't want him to like yell at you or be mean to you. Okay, I'll be aware. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh. Getting a check outside again. Hey, can I just take a get a quick view of, from out your window? Yeah. Thanks. I just really cool scenery. Oh, what a sweet view you got out here. All right, thanks very much. Hope yeah. you have a great day. You as well. yeah. Elevator only. So we can't go to the third floor, guys. It must be like privately rented space. Weird. They're gonna have to look into that. <laughs> Bowdoin College office. Gonna have to say that's a hard fail. Sadly. Oh wow.
absolute disdain for the public. Yeah. All right. Brunswick Town Hall doing a terrible job with Wandering Hippie Kitchen. The next one, and that's the reason I stopped you today.